Okay, okay, two piggy, two piggy banks. I'm gonna crack this now. Uh, oh, hi, hi, welcome back. I was about to break this piggy bank so I can get more money to buy Tesla stock. Why? Because there's a five to one share split that's gonna be happen before 28th of August, 2020. So jump on the train, stick me on this video and I will tell you one million reason why you should be buying Tesla stock as soon as you can. Don't let it leave. So see you soon. I need to calm down. I'm getting a bit too excited here. As the clock struck about half an hour ago when the market closed, Tesla announced a five to one share split. Yes, Apple announced a four to one share split during their earnings. Tesla never said anything. And then suddenly today, on the 11th of August, Tesla decided in the next three weeks, I'm gonna give every investor additional four shares. So what it means that if you own one Tesla share already, they'll give you four shares to make a total of five. It doesn't change the cosmetic share value, but what it does is basically on the day of the 28, it locks in and then it divided by five. And that's what you will get. So as it stands just now, 1,400, 1,500 divided by five. So you're gonna get around about $300 of Tesla share on the 31st of August. Today's technical analysis is sponsored by StockCard.io. I use it every day on a daily basis to find out what are the fundamental key information that I may be messing out and StockCard is for you. So for this Tesla stock today, I'm using StockCard. So as you can see on the indicator, Stochastic, RSI, uh, or Moving Day Average, Tesla has been on a short, short sellers has been selling Tesla. If you check out this stock card on chalking money inflow, so basically chalking money inflow showing the money going in and going out in the last 20 days. So as you can see in the last 20 days is minus 0.09, meaning there's more money going out for Tesla. Even as you can see on the rise after the earnings, after that, it's just been dropping. Short interest has been high. People has been shorting, taking profits. People are taking profits, more money going out the way, so it shows that 1,300 when it closed, today 1,374 when it closed, it's on, there was a buy trigger coming up. Buy trigger. And if you check back to the charts on the stochastic, on the RSI, they're going under near to the 20 mark. That's when, if you see both 20, buy. But they're closing in very, very close. They've been short selling today very, very close. And then with this announcement, it is just going to reverse. Regardless of the technical, it will reverse tomorrow. And you see the simple moving day average, as you can see, it's at 1.69. If you look at the simple moving average, it's just come to a point, the 50-20, it's just showing that it's just below the chart. So simple moving day average also shows that it should be on an upward trend. And relative strength index, as you can see, which I explained just now, it's on fifth day and today it's dropped. And now it's on a rebound up high. So in terms of the stock itself, Tesla, I must admit, Tesla is an overvalued stock. As you can see on my stock card here, it says overvalued and I agree with that. Tesla is an overvalued stock, regardless of the last earnings of their smashing records and the forecast for the next one, it will still be overvalued. So. That's my technical analysis sponsored by StockCard. So please do check out the link below if you want to go into the details yourself and go and sign up for a free account. It really helped my journey and I'm sure it will help you. But let's go to the valuation because I'm a value investor. I need to know how much I'm overpaying for Tesla. As we can see, it's overvalued. So how much of the future value am I paying for? That's what I'm going to discuss with you. This year in 2020, they're expecting, they're hoping, they want to target to sell half a million Tesla cars worldwide. So how am I doing my valuation here? I use a simple method called Graham's Intrinsic calculation. So you can go on Google, just type Graham intrinsic calculator and you got heaps of that. So for this one specifically, I use a forecast for the next one, EPS uh, rating. So I've used the future one, which is 2.67, the one that just passed 2.18 plus 1.14 plus 2.06. So it's around about 8.05. That's EPS 8.05 for the next quarter. Okay, I'm not looking for it's for the next quarter onwards. So with that calculation and, and that growth, on Yahoo, they claim their growth is about 70%. 
So let's try to work it out. I think realistically, the growth is about 40, 45%. So if you put a growth of 40% in, you are getting a valuation of Tesla with this new EPS for the next quarter of $1,000. That's what Tesla is, so around about $1,000. That's what it's worth. But if you think Tesla will grow and start hitting the target of 500,000 vehicle, which is about 60%, Tesla will be worth $1,500. That is what Tesla is based on, a 60% growth. That's what investors are betting, that 60% growth is what Tesla is worth at $1,500. So $1,500, what you're paying tomorrow, if you're buying into Tesla, you're paying for the 60% growth. Okay, But if you think Tesla will be growing in more uh, sidelines of the solar panel, they're selling the batteries, they're sharing their batteries with other vehicles like Audi, they're sharing BMW, they might even boost their growth. If you think 70% growth, then Tesla will be worth $1,700. That's where we are on the valuation. People are putting their bets on the growth of Tesla. It's not the EPS, it's the growth that will change the variable of the share price. So I hope that's clear. Remember, Graham's Intrinsic Calculator, it's all over uh, Google, check it out. Plonk in the values and this is what you will get. So different people have a different thoughts. This is my thoughts sharing with you. But for those who still skeptical, wants to diversify their portfolio, or perhaps you might start investing, but you think that Tesla might be good, maybe perhaps for your kids investment or for your retirement fund, then check out this video here, which I spoke about how to get Tesla in many different ways. Because 1,500 is expensive. Yes, we're getting a stock split, but then you don't put all your money in one basket. You want to try to diversify. So that video there shows what funds, what ETFs, what index that you can own at low cost and automatically diversify to own Tesla. And guess what? Some of them, not only Tesla, you own the likes of Amazon, you own the likes of Apple, all in one basket. So check out the video there. So my final words, I do not want to waste everybody's time. Why? Why? What's that one million reason, Alex, to own Tesla? Buy Tesla because even though I did say it's overvalued, but then day on day, it's all about momentum. Momentum is what drives the share value up. Momentum is what gets them money and momentum is what gets them to reinvest the amount. The last classic few examples are the likes of Amazon and uh, Netflix. Amazon and Netflix has been popular momentum stocks. When they all first started back in 2002, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way 15, 16, 17, they've never been exactly valued. They've always been overvalued, overvalued by multiple times. Even Tesla and Amazon, but they reinvest their money in. They've done really well by reinvesting the money in. So we trust that Elon Musk will be doing the same and he has been doing for the last 10 years. Te own Tesla, perhaps for your kids. If you think it's overvalued, buy for your kids whenever you can afford. If you can't afford it at 1,500 now, maybe when it stocks split to 300 or 250, then start buying for your kids. Just buy because at the end of the day, your kids are maybe five, six. They'll be owning the stock for 18 years before they turn 18, five years, 10 years. And then Tesla will be a different company. Look around you. Tesla charging points are everywhere. Everybody wants to buy a Tesla car. Yes, we've been hearing about BMW. We've been hearing about Audi. But trust me, these guys are two years behind Tesla's technology. And Tesla bring us self-driving now. And the battery, and the battery model for the long distance, seriously, nobody can match Tesla on the Tesla cars just now. And they've got more vehicles running out. They're making profits. They make profits for four quarters. They will be making profit. You know, you always worry about investing in a company that's not making money. But Tesla has shown for last four quarters making money. They'll just be making money. They always be beating earnings. It's going to be just like a norm. And the next earnings forecast, they've actually upped the game that they're expecting to be from to beat at 2.61. And then another reason why. Because Tesla is on a decline, as you can see. If Tesla was to announce stock split and they're sitting at 1,900 or 2,000, I would think mm, it's a bit too high, it's a bit too high. But actually on a decline to 1,374, I was hoping for them to dip to 1,002, but then the stock split news will bring them up. Okay, so this is me. This is my thought. This is my share with you on helping you to make a decision. I'm buying Tesla shares. I'll be getting ETFs. I'll be getting... Uh, single stocks I'll be owning before the stock split. If it drops in future, guess what? I can afford to buy Tesla share because when it drops, it, it, it cost me $200 to buy Tesla share. More affordable? Why not? Why not? So, hope you enjoy this video. 
So do follow me, do like this video, do follow me, do subscribe, go on Facebook, follow me, go on my Patreon if you want to support this channel. So hope to see you soon and leave a comment below if you are getting or you've already got a Tesla shares. Tell me about it, tell me about it. I want to learn, I want to know. Have a good day, bye.